back down the river from hunting. I found an arrowhead that's just a little above average. I was happy to find it, but the first half of the hunt, I really got into some unique Indian pottery. And I'm gonna do this whole video on it because I'd like to try to find out if anybody has seen any other like it in an archeological context where it's been excavated. So I hope you enjoy, this will be shorter, but the pottery is very unique. I've not seen any other like it in years of hunting. Most of it's shell tempered or charcoal tempered. This stuff's different. I hope you enjoy. I find this very interesting and this kind of stuff is very important to document. Hope you enjoy. Later. All right, there's looking up the Ohio River. I'm out on this stretch of river. I'm gonna do some sifting and we're gonna find some stuff. I'll get back on my first find. Let it did a test screen in here and I guess you can see that big piece of flint ridge. I'm gonna have to do some sifting here. Look at this. And there's another flake. Huh. This is two shovelfuls of dirt. I'll show you this, just hold on. Huh. Look at this. That's a flint ridge preform. That ain't bad. The material's just amazing. Kind of crude, but for the first screen, my goodness. Lay that up to, I'm up to this. It's been about 45 minutes since I found this. I'm finding all kinds of pottery shards. Now look at this. Man. Look at this. I haven't even looked through all this. That's Indian pottery. Look at all the little... Look at this. Now that looks... That's another piece right here. That's got little ground up pieces of Flint Ridge Flint in it. And that's crazy. Look at that. Holy mackerel, these are good pieces for research. Real good. I'll show you that on cleanup. It's got little white pebbles in it and flakes of white Flint Ridge. There's Flint Ridge all. That's amazing. Never seen much pottery like that. Tempered with Flint Ridge and pebbles. It looks like quartz even. Pottery like this everywhere in here. I'm getting a piece every screen. You see it? Look at this stuff. I've never seen anything like it. It's got white flint ridge ground up in chunks. That's what that is. To temper the pottery. That piece isn't as stained as them last ones. There's whole vessels in here. They're all busted up. Stuff's falling out of this real cut bank here. Um, man, man, later. You know, there's like a big black blade and a flake of pottery, a piece of pottery, I mean. Look at that black, it snapped off. Later. There's another piece. This one's all stained up because it's been in that muck, but I saw that one on my shovel. Look at it. All of that white in it. That stuff would have been beautiful. I've never seen pottery like it. Later. Screen, look at that. It's got a rolled over lip on it. That's the top of like a water vessel. You can, it's a big one. Man, folks, there's pottery everywhere in here, and it's cool puck. I've never seen it with the Wake Flint Ridge and quartz ground up. That's amazing. I got lots of examples of it, too. Look here, piles of it. Later. There's a black arrowhead right there. There's a base off something that's Flint Ridge. Looks like an Adena base, and another piece of pottery, and look at that piece of bird dropping Kashokton Flint. All in the screen with that rim this play area is loaded i've been moving around i'm on a good spot now i'm going to try to find one point i've had to look around a while to get in a good concentrated area i gotta go take care of my buddy squirrel man but just you know could have been two points right there plus all the pottery and i ain't been out here that long look at these screens they look excellent I'll get back. All the stuff that's in this screen, not much. Two shovelfuls of dirt, and look here. Two huge pieces of pottery. Look at this one. That's different stuff. Huh. Real shame that all the stuff gets busted up when it falls out of the bank, especially the pottery. You see that piece of pottery? Holy crap. And it's that flint. Look at this, folks. I'll have to do a whole video on this. This is sick. Look at that. There's whole pots in here that have fallen out and they're just crumbled. I'm gonna have to take my time in here. The flake, man. 
these are big pieces of Indian pottery and that tempering is just crazy man that almost looks like shell in this one and Flint Ridge man there's another tiny piece lay that all right I'm gonna get a little bit more I got a whole point in my screen but we're just gonna do this video on this pottery because it's amazing some of it I've never seen any pottery like this before look at this stuff tempered that isn't shell you can see it it's rock that's ground up Flint Ridge I'll let this dry out you can see I want to get pictures of it and find out about this I want to find somebody that has some archaeological evidence not a guess um, if you've seen this before coming off a site and it's documented archaeologically chime in I'll show you more of it here when we get home that's a big pile of pottery and I'm gonna keep coming back and see if I can't piece some of this together I got a piece of the rim and some of it's different some of it's shell tempered but there's a lot of this flint tempered and I've not seen that uh, this is the only site I've really seen it on and one other one real close okay later all right here is what that pottery is tempered with it's flint ridge but it's a variety of flint ridge that outcrops at Flint Ridge State Park in Ohio and it's called Flint Ridge Chalcedony now I will go in in a dark room and show you it held to a light source and show you how translucent it is it's exactly what is in the pottery but it's crushed like it was crushed in a mortar we'll look at the pottery and all that too here in a second this is very unique hold on all right this kind of shows up a little bit better in here look at this stuff see it's almost like it's silicate silica you know you can read about it but look at the translucency on this stuff this piece is a little stained up these darker colors are just from it being in that river muck with decaying leaves and whatnot but look at it it's beautiful stuff you know i guess i show you here's another piece See, some of it can have a little bit of color to it, but the classic stuff is like this piece right here. That's classic chalcedony. So what it looked like without the light source out there, look. It's just like, almost like glass. Next will be about the pottery. All right, we're going to talk about some of this pottery that I dug in this spot here yesterday. This is the type of material that is in it. I'm finding flakes of it around. And this is called Flint Ridge Chalcedony. Now look at it. See, it's pretty awesome indeed. Um, some of it has a little color to it. That, you could call that Flint Ridge jewel grade, but it's Chalcedony. Right here's another piece of it. It's here on the site flakage of it. I gotta find a point made out of it. See that piece is stained up. That black is just staining from being in river muck. But right there it is. Now you saw the pieces. In this flint is crushed up Flint Ridge Chalcedony. Not in the flint. In the pottery. Um, I've looked at it under magnification. It's definitely what's in it. And there's some pebbles in some of the pieces, but there's flakes. I'll see if I can't find a root. Well, right here. Right there is a flake of it crushed up. It's like they took their napping excess, ground it in like a mortar, and used it to temper the pottery. And temper means to give strength. Um, sometimes they use clamshells. You can see the kind of design on this. I found a Hopewell point in there. Maybe this is Hopewell, but I've also found Flint Ridge Riverton culture arrowheads there that are older than Hopewell. Um, here, uh, this is dried out now, but um, let me, I'll just lick it. Now you can really see it. See that little Flint Ridge, and right there's another flake of it. You can see the flakes of it in here. See it in there? Tempered to give it strength. This is very interesting. 
but some of the pottery is shell tempered. Like, but I also the banks are high. I find Mississippian points there. I find, well, look here. This came from yesterday. Looking through my flakes, I thought it was just a flake. You know what that is? It's a base off a crude Adena point. It's a crude one, but right there's going up and it snapped there. Here's this point. This might be an Ashtabula, but I'd have to see more of it. I found an Ashtabula point in there in a video this week. This is impacted at the tip and the base is broke off. Um, but you can see this stuff. And that's the material this pottery is tempered with. It's very interesting. You know, type in flint tempered pot pottery. Try to find more examples of it. The reason why I'm doing this video is... I want to see if anybody knows more about this. I'm not no pottery expert. It, it's hard to find this kind of stuff. And I've never seen flint tempered pottery. And I'm over three hours by car. Close to four hours. Closer to four hours. We just should call it four hours. From, from the source of this at Flint Ridge State Park. So this stuff had some cultural significance to these people using it that far away see here's a piece and let me let me lick it right there is a piece of the crushed up chalcedony this is the top of a pot and you see it has a slight curve but this thing was big unless you know it's out of a piece of the pot that i'm just not seeing in my mind yet but see how this has been kind of it's kind of tooled over this would be the top of a vessel. And if it is Hopewell, I found a nice Hopewell in there. You can go back in my videos if you haven't seen that. A few videos back, I find a beautiful Flint Ridge Hopewell. And it could very well be Hopewell pottery, which it could be as old as 2,500 years old. And you see there's some bigger pieces in here, and I looked at this, but you see there's a crack in it there. Once this stuff falls out of the bank and gets wet, it degrades quickly. This has came out pretty recently, and you imagine what water does to clay pottery like this, plus throw in boat waves, so it's truly archaeological salvage. And the problem that I have is, with so much stuff on these sites, um, it's multicultural over time, and all of it's fallen out of the bank. I'm looking displaced material, so I have to put this together like an ancient jigsaw puzzle. I don't dig into sites that are in situ the way they were left. I don't agree with that. Unless you're in a cornfield or something, and I do, because it's gradually just gonna get down and get destroyed. Topsoil gets moved around, you know what I'm saying. But I gotta figure out what, who, what culture made this pottery. I'm leaning towards Hopewell, but it still could be those Riverton people. Wonder who left these flakes there. Once I find out who left these flakes here and get a cross section of the material, find a few points made out of this so far away from the source, there isn't going to be much doubt who made the pottery. So that's what I'm doing now, looking for artifacts made of chalcedony. You know, being four hours from the source, you don't find much of this material. Not much at all, but there's a good bit of it there. So whoever made, I find a point made of this. We're about 80% sure on this pottery, tempered with chalcedony. Anybody have any thoughts, put it down in the description, but this is very interesting. Find some more flint tempered pottery being found, especially in the northern panhandle of West Virginia with Flint Ridge in it. Unbelievable. It's what floats my boat. Later, folks.